<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we start by doing a bit of battery maintenance. These batteries are new to me and donated from a subscriber and have been working perfectly fine. But I was talking to Mark and he mentioned that I should check the battery levels. So once I checked them and I realized they were a little bit low, he talked me through the process on how to top them up. So when I woke up, I decided to give it a try. I'm not a battery or a wiring guy, and honestly, these things make me nervous. It might as well be black boxes of magic that just pop out light and electricity. But like anything, you'll never learn unless you try. And once I got into it, it was actually a pretty simple process. You just end up taking the caps off the top of the batteries, and there's little access holes and you pour the deionized water in until the batteries are about full. And I'm just thankful that I had my little helper there to help me because this was actually a pretty difficult process to do by myself. And in the end, we both end up learning something this way. And I'm super grateful that Mark was able to talk me through this process over the phone. It's kind of funny how it's 2022 and I always forget that you can Google things. <laughs> but either way, it's really nice having Mark there to remind me that sometimes I'm just overthinking it. And if you just take it one step at a time, you could basically accomplish anything. During this process, I also gave the diesel heater a better ground connection. Okay, so I got everything all hooked right back up. And we're going to wait until all the lights go green before we try and fire up the diesel heater again. This next step is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time to help make the van that much more organized. Alright, so I had enough wood to build two. So now that you guys will go inside. While I've been working on the drawers, Tamara is making us burgers. I would really like to have a nice clean dresser and closet set up in this van, but unfortunately I'm just working with what I have, and if it works for its purpose, it's good enough for me. These pieces of plywood that I'm building the drawers out of are all leftover pieces from when we did the floor, the walls, and the ceiling. And with the price of lumber, I really wanted to use every last piece. I had to build this drawer, kind of awkward looking, but it's for a reason. The notch actually goes around the gas fill cap for the van and that's why I couldn't build a full square drawer. Thankfully, this was the only one that I had to modify like that. A funny story about this drawer is I actually built it upside down. The top is supposed to be the bottom, and the bottom is supposed to be the top, so that notch is supposed to be on the other side. So just like everything else, I had to redo it. But overall, I think it came out okay. It kind of looks a little funny, but it works for its purpose. And it feels so good to have the organization for clothes instead of reaching into suitcases or tubs to get our stuff. So I just finished making four more drawers for the van. They're all temporary, I'm no carpenter, but that's the job. And after going all day with just a screwdriver, my hand kinda, well, you can see. <laughs> but we got it done. Overall, it was a pretty nice day. The weather was absolutely perfect. The birds were chirping, the grass is growing, and I actually managed to accomplish something on the van. And I couldn't believe how long it took me to build four drawers today without power tools. But like the dash sign says, do with what you have where you are. And I think our little home on wheels here definitely suits that motto, just as well as our lifestyle.
we're back in the van there now, and um, Tamara just finished off her birthday Walmart gift card. She managed to get a lot out of the out of the gift card. She got two pairs of leggings, a blanket, sunglasses, shoes, hair products, socks, a frying pan, and a spatula, which you guys just seen to finish off the card. I think that's pretty good use of your uh, birthday gift card. <laughs> well, for sure, it was the best birthday I've ever had, and I thank everybody for all the help yes and <laughs> the subscriber who dropped by and gave us the gift card thank you so much it means a lot to us it was really sweet thank <laughs> you I, I honestly think i have the best subscribers in the world they care so much for us and how we're doing and stuff it, re it really means a lot and it warms our hearts so thank you guys so much for all of this you guys are literally making all of this possible for us thank you yeah for the day i think we're just gonna try and do a haircut and I think I'm gonna try and balance the tire too so I can get that thing back on and get the spare tire back underneath the van. But I've got a list of things that we could do today and we're gonna try and get as much done off the list as possible. So we're just gonna see how today goes. Now, let's go try and get something done today because I'm extremely excited to be able to drive the van somewhere. It makes the whole outlook of this place completely different. Being stuck here for so long definitely took a toll on us, but now we're that much more grateful that we can move the van so it is going to be a pretty exciting moment to be able to drive it and well we're still kind of worried but you know we're not as worried as something is going to fall off the van so pretty excited let's do this drive <laughs> Is it just me, or does this van sound like a complete hot rod when you speed up the footage? <laughs> the first stop is a place called u Ranch, where I can get the tire balanced really cheap. It's actually one of my more favorite places to go to because you can rent the lifts, rent the tools, and do all the work yourself, which is really convenient because in Canada in the cold winters, no one wants to be underneath their vehicle in the snow. Second stop of the day for a well-needed haircut. been a long time since I had a haircut. It feels so good to move the van again. Like, it, we've been sitting with this thing for so long. Oh, it's crazy. I guess sitting for that long really makes you appreciate being able to move. Oh my God, you guys. Look at those mountains. They are screaming our name. They're so beautiful today. Like I mentioned before, we can't take the van on the highway or any high-speed roads. I think 60 is probably as fast as I want to take this van right now with the bad wheel alignment. But even with that, we still managed to make it to the shower, which I'm extremely excited about. I cannot wait to have a shower and didn't be able to come back to the van instead of walking all the way back. It's a good day. So we made it to the Flying J, it's just over here. And uh, before I go in, I'm going to swap over the tire that I balanced earlier, put the spare tire back underneath the van. So I'm really hoping that balancing the tire fixes, fixes the problem. quite a size difference. So this one's a 16, which is normal tires. 
and that one's a 17 with like grippier tires so it's gonna be nice to get this switch dude hopefully balancing it really solves the issue there that balanced it told me it's gonna be tricky because it's a worn out tire but they're the only tires we have for now and also I've got the spare here I was gonna put it underneath but I want to wait and make sure that that is what solved the tire issue so but now we can go for a shower but there's definitely something wrong with the tire itself so unfortunately I'm gonna have to put the spare tire back on the front until I can get a another tire like that or a another set of 17s for this thing oh, I was really hoping that would solve the issue but that's it alright so once again we're back here in the Walmart parking lot and I've, like I said, I've got to take the spare tire back off, switch it out with the newly balanced tire until we can get a set. Um, I really hate to, but until then, I guess the spare goes back on. <laughs> gentleman was Merv and when I used to work at the engine shop here in Calgary he was one of like the, our favorite people that came by and it was really nice to meet up with him again now let's tighten this tire again <laughs> Imagine you guys are getting tired of looking at me taking off and putting back on tires by now and believe me I'm tired of doing it <laughs> How's your new frying pan and spatula? Amazing! <laughs> so that's the old crusty frying pan we've been using forever. And now she's got a new one. <laughs> this is my first new pan I've ever had in my whole life. How's it working out for you? Perfect. No butter necessary. <laughs> oh, those pancakes look amazing. Mm. It's gonna be a good supper. All right, it's getting pretty dark there now. Sun's going down, so to kill the day off, we're gonna be throwing a frisbee around. So, thank you guys all for liking, watching, and subscribing. And if you want to follow us in real time, go over to Patreon 
and join the junior family. Ugh, horrible. <laughs> for watching along supporting the channel supporting us and making all this possible hope you guys all have a good night